Good day, everybody. I'm Mr. D here, and this is Mr. J. Hey. Today, I'm going to lead you through the 2016 electrical experiment. Okay, what does it come to your mind when you do electrical experiment? Fret not. Okay, we're going to guide you along. Okay, you see this circuit here? There's two batteries right here, followed by a variable resistor. Okay, and a crocodile clip and boot meter, and meter, and our crocodile clip. Okay, let's come to the setup right here. There are two batteries right here. Take note. Make sure the positive negative is here, positive negative is here. Follow the wire, make sure the connections are all tightened. Okay, you go to the switch. Okay, I will open the switch for now. Okay, it goes, this is called the variable resistor one piece of wire right here. I'll just clip it somewhere. And it goes to this crocodile clip and it clips on one end. Okay, and the other end goes to... Now this part, make sure we connect to the positive. Why? Because it's from the positive to the positive. Okay, and tighten the connection. The negative here is basically jockey right here. Okay, there's a piece of wire, okay, a long piece of wire right here. And this is the negative, goes to the negative of the end meter, tighten, okay, make sure the connection is tightened. Positive go to the other end, so it's from one end to the other end. Okay, let's go back here. So the length, we're going to measure this using the ruler. So you try your best to straighten out the wire, alright. Um, it's about 89. Okay, we just do an estimation for the sake of this video. It's around 88 to 89. Okay, let's take it as 88.0 cm. So we ask Mr. J to help us write down 88.0 cm. Okay, take note that it's to the nearest 0.1 cm. Right? So now we connect this. Connect the meter to the circuit as shown. Place contact C firmly on Cobra. Contact C is like this, it's this one, okay, on the crocodile clip B, which is here, and close the switch and adjust the variable resistor until the end meter is between 0.12 to 0.20. So I will the switch, okay, I'm gonna close it, I'm gonna close it and place it right here, right at the end here. And let's check, let's bring our attention to the end meter. What does it show? It shows around 0.1. 2, 4, 5, 0, 1, 5. perfect. Okay, so 0, 1, 5. Now let's go to this setting here. Does it fulfill this requirement, 0, 1, 5? Yes. So we can ask Mr. J to help us write down 0, 0.15. Now note that this value is not, um, this value doesn't have to be 0, 1, 5. It can be anything between 0.12 to 0, 0.20. Anything. Okay, try to take somewhere in the middle. Not too close to 0, 0.12, not too close to. 0 0.20. There's a VL here. Now guys, where do we get the VL? Place this contact back here again. Alright. And the voltmeter reads around 2.35. Okay, around 2.35. 2.3, 2.35. Let's put it there's 2.35, shall we? So we ask Mr. J to help us right now. 2.35 volts. Okay, take note of these values. Okay, now we have got the first part out already, part A. Next, we're going to go to part B. Can you see here there's a wire, there's a piece of a, there's a ruler here. You're supposed to fix um, one end to one end of the ruler with blue tack and stretch it out and fix other parts with blue tack. So let's bring, let's come back here. So where is our trusty ruler, 50 cm, okay, right here. So we're going to place it. Okay, maybe we'll just disconnect here for a short while. And we place one end. Very quickly, okay? As close as possible to the end. Leave a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit of length sticking out. Just a little bit, okay? Secure one end. Stretch it out and try your best to make it as parallel as you can, okay? Of course, it may not be, may not be perfect, but um, you should try your best to make it as parallel as you can, okay? Basically, okay, you see here, and this, this two ends, you can just, you know, I unstick this and just make sure it's around. Just, just make it as straight as you can, okay? Okay, this is on the other end, so I'm gonna stick it right here. On the other end. Okay, do you miss out anything? Now let's check it out. There's a program clip here. It, it says connect to the end. The program clip A is right, is right here. So we're gonna to connect to the end, to the end of the. So let's do a careful connection, okay? Okay, make sure it's tightened, yeah? Make sure all connections are tightened, 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 okay? 
So this one we leave it here. Okay, what does it say? Please, okay, so we have done this and stretch the wire beyond, which is what we did here. We stretch it a little bit beyond. Okay, close the switch, which we are really close. Please contact C firmly and vertically on the 9 chrome wire at the 10 cm mark. Basically means length is 10 cm. Now let's come here. Where is 10 cm? So this is your contact C, okay? It's jockey here. So 10 cm is right here, okay? Right here. 10 cm, so we're going to place it right here. And we have to check that the end meter reading is around 0 0.15, which is according to a standard, okay? According to the standard, I standard. If it's 0 0.15, we're happy. We have to read the volt meter, which volt meter which is around uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, around 0 0.3, okay? So it's around 0 0.3. So we ask Mr. J to help us write down 0 0.30, okay? So this is for the 10 CN and 30, okay? 10 CN. So guys, you, you're probably wondering, there are so many values now. For the sake of time, we will not do all. But it says that select five additional values of X and record these values to 0.1 CN. So there's a the next value. So we're going to do a 20 cm. So right now, we're going to put 20.0 cm and check the reading for voltmeter. So let's come back here again. Okay. Now where's 20? Right here. Okay, 20. So we're going to place jockey C on 20 cm. Check again. Is it 0 0.15? If, there's, if it's not 0 0.15, which is your eye standard, do a little bit of adjustment. Okay. Now, note that guys, it's not, it may not be 0 0.15 for you. Okay, it's 0 0.15 for me, but just take note that it should be the same as your eye standard. After you check, it's okay. Check your voltmeter reading, and now it shows around 0 0.50. Okay, so now you ask Mr. J, okay, the right now 0 0.50. 0 0.50. 0 0 now we got ourselves two readings already. Okay? Mm. Alright, so after this, you do additional um, further values until the end. Okay, you get further values of V by adjusting the jockey along the length. If possible, regular measurement. Okay, and that will finish our first part of the experiment. So you may be wondering, okay, so what's next? You will now repeat the procedure on different part of the micro wire. And there's a D2 here. So what do you say? You say carefully pull the wire, pull a little bit to 10 to 20 cm beyond the mark. Okay, pull a little bit, slide, and do the same thing, basically, okay? So pull the wire, 10 to 20 cm means... Now, it's the same wire. You're basically going to measure on a different part of the wire, okay? So before you pull, of course, you have to... Maybe you should try to disconnect this first a little bit, okay? And now, preferably, you should, be trying, you should try to pull, but I would say that for the sake of this experiment, it's, it's okay to actually lift this out a little bit and adjust, okay? Instead of pulling, so it's the same effect as pulling, and you probably have to lift this up as well, this blue tag here. Okay, 10, you can just do an estimation. Okay, 10 to 20 cm, so it's around. Okay, maybe we'll uh, put a mark here. Maybe let's do a 15 cm, okay? Rough estimation, so I pull all the way here. Okay, it's about 15 cm. So now I lock it down. It's around 15 cm. Okay, 15 cm here. And obviously, when I shifted this, this will shift as well, so I I'm, unplug this, okay? Pull the wire tight as much as you can. Just to explain this, what actually we are doing is that we have shifted the wire to the left, a little bit to the left. So we do the exact same thing, exact same thing, just that we are measuring on a different part of the wire. So the first part, D2, 10 cm. So again, the jockey, we'll put it at 10 cm, okay? So take note, this is the same wire we have shifted to the left. So I put a tens I put it at the 10 cm. Mm. I think you may need to connect oh, this yes. one back. Okay, so you see, it's possible that in the heat of the experiment you forgot. So if let's say you press and hey, there's nothing. How come there's nothing? So maybe you have to check. Did I close the switch? I did. Then, oh, I found it. I found the problem. Thank you, Mr. J, for pointing out. Actually, I didn't connect this. So sometimes as we do experiment, we do forget to connect up the wire, the circuit. So put this connection back in here at the end. And it should be good to go now. Okay, you can see the current is back in. 
Okay, in fact, it has increased a little bit. So because it's increased a little bit, it's not really the ice standard now. It has. Yeah, so when you, so if let's say if it increased, it's take note that my ice standard was 0 0.15, so I probably need to adjust a little bit to make it to my 1.5. It'll make it have more resistance, right, Mr. D? Yes, that's right. Okay. Okay, quite close now. So we're gonna adjust until It'll be a bit more. A bit more. Yeah, good, good. Okay, perfect. Zero one five. Okay. So this experiment really help you show that mistake that you can make if you forget and how when you when you shift the wire, it differs from your I standard and you need to do a little bit of adjustment. So now I got my zero point one five I standard. We are good to go, okay? So now Connection is done. All done. All okay. Good to go. Now we're going to repeat the same experiment. 10 cm mark. Is it still 0 0.15? Yes, perfect. 0 0.15. And the book reading shows around 0 0.3. Okay, what? 0 0.30. It's almost the same. Okay, actually, it should be around the same. Okay, also take note when reading the voltmeter. Just make sure that there's no parallax error. Okay, just make sure you read straight and not to read at this end or the other end. Okay, because there's parallax error. Okay, after I've done one, okay, we do one more. It's the 20 cm mark. Same thing. Okay, 20 cm right here. Okay, we put it right here. Check. Zoom on one five. Good. Perfect. Okay. Now when you press on the job key, just remember uh, not to like press it really firmly down. Okay, don't shake it or whatever. Press firmly down. About zero point. 5, 0. Okay, so 0 by 5, 0. Yes, in fact, it's almost it's the same. Okay, so with this, we will do a D average. Okay, it's the same. So D average is actually the same thing 0 0.30, 0 by 5, 0. If your value differs, simply add them up and divide by 2. After this, now you should have already finished the first part before you move to the second part. After you finish the first part, Totally, then you go to the second part, and after that you plot, you're good to go to plot the graph. And with that, I think you're, you are you you should be able to get a good experiment and a good set of values. Okay, with this, Mr. D here signing off. Okay, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the, the, the experiment. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye. -bye.